Guys, my car's going on by rivers at the bottom. What's up everyone, it's a boy 19 I'm back in another video. I hope everyone is doing good, because I am great, guys. So we are in progress of building the Golf 7 GTI. You guys have seen, it's still looking stock. It's sounding good now, but it's still looking a little bit stock. And it's still gonna look stock, but uh, in this video, guys, I'm gonna attempt to put on magnetic plates uh, myself. Uh, you know, obviously taking pictures for cars, you can't have a front plate on it, it just looks not nice. So, today, well, in this video, we're gonna go and buy the new plates because the plates we have on the car currently, fuck, oh, you, I can't see that. The plates we have on the car are messed up, and then we have to go get magnetic plates. And then once that's done, I'm gonna uh, try and strip, not strip, but take the front bumper and put the magnetic on. And keep in mind, guys, I do not have any mechanical skills, should I say. I can drive, I have no mechanical skills. So hopefully, having this car also allow me to uh, uh, build my mechanical skills so I know how to turn a wrench. Because obviously, I know how to, but. I'm not, I'm not used to it, so I want to definitely work on that and make sure that I'm able to uh, work on my own car. So that's the first, this is going to be my first time actually taking apart the car, so I don't know how it's going to go, but I hope it goes good, guys. So if you guys want to see this, make sure you guys subscribe, stick around, comment, guys. And if you haven't, leave a link right here, guys, to watch uh, me uh, take my mom in a ride with the new exhaust. The pop up exhaust in the GTI, guys. Click the link here. You guys are gonna see the video that I think was a really fun video to make. And if it does really well, I might take my dad. And my dad do not like the way I drive at all. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to show support. But uh, let's go and get this plates and stuff. I let you get in the car. I'm about to drive. I turn on ignition. I just see uh, check uh, oil, check oil, engine oil warning. And this is not the first time this happened. It's actually quite not common but basically remember how i said in the earlier earlier videos i said the car is still not right the car is an oil leak and now this car is drinking oil because it's leaking i know i need to get it fixed guys i'm working on it i need to get to a good mechanic and fix it but i'm literally out of oil like i had to top up the oil on the car for it looks like probably the fourth time i've had to do it and i'm out of oil so now i need to go and get oil also because this car keeps leaking it having a used car is fun they said but i guess it's actually kind of good because like i said it gives me Hopefully it's gonna make me more mechanically inclined. That's the goal. So I just got to the number plate place here. As you can see there on the on the wall, this is number plates. Yeah, so we're just gonna get new ones. To Guys, wait, I didn't even look away. I was just talking to my friend and the plate is already done, the new plate. Yeah, nice and fresh. But they're done. Like, guys, it didn't even take five minutes, and the place already done. So now we got the place. We're gonna get the. Uh, we got the place. We're gonna get the magnetics, the magnets for the plates, which is another shop. So, what's up, guys? We're at second location at the moment. We came to Carbon Sport here. This is where we're gonna get our magnetic uh, uh, magnet magnets for the plates. That we're gonna be putting on, guys. So we just got here. I've never been here before, so hopefully everything goes well. As you can see in the back, we've got the new plates. Freshly printed, but let's go inside, guys. How are you? Good. Good. I'm, I'm, I'm right for filming here. It's a YouTube series that I'm doing. Okay, okay. No problem. Yes. Uh, I don't know if I spoke to you on the phone. Yes. Uh, magnetic plates. I got your number from. Uh, yes. Uh, how DJ. many magnets do you need? Uh, how many do you, do you say you probably need four? Uh, what top. car is it? Golf 7 GTI. Uh, Golf 7 GTI. Yeah. Where, you, where is it going? I'm gonna I'm try and do magnet installation myself. Oh, you have to take off the bump. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm okay. Give it a try. I'm not scared. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I'm a bit scared, but. You know, it can be good forever. Like. Yeah, you know, like yeah. So yeah, just I think you need two. I mean, four. Two for front, two for uh, the back. Is right? You need four per bumper. You need four, okay. four on a bumper. So it's. Uh, oh, it's like oh, I thought it was a set. So you need one for like the bumper and one for the plate, and that's like two. Yes. So I thought it came in like a. I want to say a set. No. Oh, so basically, okay. you need two on inside of the bumper. Okay. And then two on the plate. Oh yes, yeah, so you need four. So you need four. Can I have a look and see? Yeah. So guys, these are the magnets that we need. So I thought we needed four, but apparently need eight because we need two on the bumper and two on the plate. Yeah. How much do you charge for the E82 steering wheel? Yeah, he has the BMW. E82 steering wheel. LED is about uh, 10, 11,000. Okay. No, no, sorry, I'm wrong. LED is about 16,000. Yeah. The non-LED is about 10, 11,000. See guys, I never have money. My money always goes to my car. Always finished. 
Uh, second part of the uh, of the plate thing, we got the magnets. So now it's just the hard part about <laughs> actually putting the plates on, which we'll do another day. I was literally just shopping. There's just like everything. There's carbon paddles, carbon steering wheel. Uh, and oh, by the way, I got the magnet there off my phone because I don't want to break them. But uh, if you look over here, they've got carbon wheels and some of them have the shift lights. But it's like 15,000 Rand for a steering wheel. Like, I want it, but like, can I afford it? I don't know. Comment down below, guys. You guys want me to get this carbon wheel? I mean, carbon wheel with the shift lights. Because it is cool, but uh, money. But anyway, guys, now we're done. And now we're gonna. Next part of the video is me. <laughs> Stripping my car for the first time, so yeah, guys, see you then. Uh, guys, forgot one little thing. Uh, we need glue, glue to stick on the magnets. Tape already got it home, so we add mica to get glue. That's what we need, so that's what we're getting. Uh, I just got the glue, <laughs> it's a small little glue, that's all we need. Just small, little, it's actually quite cheap. So now we got everything which we'll do tomorrow on the car. So see you then. Next day guys, today is do or die day. Guys, I got all the stuff that we need to use the magnetic plates, I hope. And yeah, the car is right here. I backed it up so we can stop the front plate, that's the most important. And then if we have time with the black back plate. And I'm not gonna, I'm still tired because it's early in the morning. But I'm not gonna, I'm so nervous because like, I've never done this before, but I'm an engineering student. I'm a racing driver, I can do this, it's not that hard, right? Like it surely can't be that hard, literally, Unscrewing a few bolts, sticking stuff in, and putting it back together. Not that hard, right? Nothing could go wrong. But also, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yesterday, I was a little bit, n not nervous, but I wanted to speed up the process, so I just Googled where all the screws are for the front bumper and rear bumpers, just so that I'm as efficient as possible, because I don't wanna spend like the whole day here. Front plate, we wanna drill out the old one. Yes. Yeah, we gonna we, we, have to, we have to drill out the rivets, and that's why we got the new plates in the back, so. Let's get going, guys. So, uh, another great start to this uh, activity. I came here in hopes, entrancing there was a drill in the toolbox, but my dad he took it. So now there's no drill, but I called a friend, and I'm gonna go all the way to RGM Motorsport because they're gonna help me and just drill out these rivers because we don't have a drill, so great playing on my side. So now we're gonna go for a little drive and we'll be back. I pull a day, keeps the doctor away. That's to be done, it's to be done. It's a ride at RGM, you guys have you can't see it over there. Came to see a good friend of mine. Uh, I hope he's gonna help us out with the plates because I don't have a drill. Hello. Plates off and big shout out to Jamie at RGM. He's the man. Okay, now that I'm done eating, as you can see, the plate is off, and now it's time to get wrenching. So, guys, I'm learning this toolbox at home does not have. The equipment that it used to have a couple years back and also yeah I don't know what size tools what size bits I need and I'm trying to find nothing's organized so yeah a little bit more challenging than I thought because we have the tools so let's just So now, I, because I don't have a jack, I need to turn the wheel all the way around so I can take the other wheel off. Guys, my car's hold on by rivets at the bottom. I mean by zip ties. 
What do I do? The bumper's off. So, that's good. But like again, the main reason I think so long is because I don't have a jack. I don't have the right tools. I'm using like pliers as like screwdrivers and all that stuff. And my, also my car is missing some screws. But now, what do we do? That is the last one. Can you see us? I did it! Anyway, so now the, the plate is off, the bumper's off. Now the next step is to put the magnetics on. But it's taking so much time. Okay guys, so uh, the glue is still drying but I'm going to move the tape. Oh. This camera's been recording for some time. So now, okay guys, just for to protect the paint, right? Let me just bend down. So to protect the paint, uh, there you go. To protect the paint of the car, I am going to put cellar tape over this thing so that when you like, so under movement, when you put it, it doesn't scratch the paint because obviously it's metal or metal, so. Just gonna put some uh, cellar tape on it and hopefully it should be good. Okay guys, so I put a cellar tape on the back. I can't really see but it's clear cellar tape just so it protects the paint. So, moment of truth, let's test it out. I think I did it! I think I did it! I was going to do the other, the other side of the, the back of the car tomorrow, but I just want to get it done with because it's taking way too long. So let's do it now. Oh my god, I forgot to record that, but I just took off the rear plate. So guys, the issue now is that the rear, um, the rear bolt that connects the bumper to the rear fender, the rear quarter panel, it's like in a weird position where I can't reach with just my hand and I can't reach with the tool. So now I'm not talking about untighten it. And I really want to get this done today because it's tiring. <sighs> I didn't give up. I'm here at Power Pipes again. And uh, they actually got, obviously because they are they do this stuff all the time. They got the Allen keys that have the right pattern for this bolt. So I think I should be able to reach that one screw so I can get this thing done. So let's get it. Thanks to Power Pipes because, well, thank you for allowing me to use this stuff. Hopefully this works so we can get this done ASAP. My hands are dirty, I've been at work, my camera died, I, I'm not home. Guys, these magnetic plates are not easy. I mean, there's so, so much work with magnetic plates, it's not easy. I can see why people charge so much money. I have to move the light, you see the light is like loose. I have to jack up the car to get that one screw I couldn't get, so I jacked up this side. I need to move, I need to move this light. It's so, so much work for magnets. Like, yo guys. At this point, I don't really want to record anymore, I just want to get this thing done. Because the front was nice and everything in show, but the rear, the rear is for the real man, and right now I am losing. Also, I don't want to yank something or pull the wrong cord. Now I don't have lights at work, but I damage something. So I'm a little bit skeptical now, because now the front, there was only two wires that's unplugged. Now I have to take out the whole light unit at the back. I have to check out the car. It's just a lot more, a lot of things that I don't have the, the, the tools. Not the skills, but for the tools for, and also the budget to fix if I ever do make a mistake.
Let's see. Yeah, I think. I think that's it, guys. Yo. What's up, guys? Today's the next day. Yesterday, I was so, so finished. Like, I was tired. My fingers were so, my hands were dirty. My camera died. But I persevered when the camera went turned off and I finished the job. So, guys, the magnets are on. But, guys, can you guys see? The front is working. And, guys, can you guys can see the back is also working. I won't lie, guys. I have big respect to mechanics. Like yesterday was challenging, not because it was necessarily too hard, but I didn't have the, the necessary knowledge and also the tools for it. So it took me way too long uh, to get this done. But I'm glad I, I stuck through and I did it. It's done. I did it on my own. And uh, yeah, guys, comment down below what next project joints do you want me to see do on my own on my car? Because again, I'm not scared to take my car apart. I just don't like to run out of the necessary tools to do it. So that's your problem. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below what you guys want to see next. And with that, guys, it's your boy Latix signing out.